Hi, it's Richard Dixon, and this is Dixon's Digital Diary. Today, we're going to watch and see if this pot of water boils. Just kidding. We're actually going to make macaroni and cheese pretzel balls. That is to say, pretzel balls with macaroni and cheese on the inside. Step one, make macaroni and cheese. Bam! Now we spoon it into ice trays and we put them in the freezer. Bam! I'll show you the next step when I show you the next step. This is crescent roll dough. Soon it will be filled with delightful macaroni and cheese frozen in its ice tray. Here we have some delightful crescent rolls which were on sale at the Wind dixie and on them you can see the frozen cubes of mac and cheese. We're going to wrap them up so they look like this and the next step is really important so pay attention. This is boiling water. It's full of these. It also has one tablespoon of baking powder in it. These stay in for one minute. It makes the dough all pretzely. I didn't do well in science. I'm not sure why. Back in a moment. And now we are loading the boiled and completely stuffed mac and cheese croissants onto a platter because we don't know what else to do with them. Okay, these go here, this goes here. This is sort of the disaster, retarded sun, whatever. We'll make that work and we're throwing on some, oh look, sea salt. Yay, sea salt. It's sort of the cure for all that ails you, isn't it? Get enough that on there. Throw some butter on. Life is good. We put in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. We'll see what happens, huh? And there they are, the beasts themselves. The macaroni and cheese pretzel balls. Uh, ooh, look at that. Pretty tasty. Let's see how they work on the palate, shall we? Mm. Okay. Wow. That. Oh my god. I don't know how pretzely that is, but that that right there is a little bit of heaven. You must try this recipe. You will not regret it. Trust me. Don't forget to tune in weekdays 1 to 5, 1070 WAPI or 1070WAPI.com.